So what is a string in Go? A string in Go is a sequence of any valid UTF-8 characters. We have a simple example on the screen on line number 10. We have this string, a string in Go with spaces in between. And when we try to run this small piece of code, we see that the value of our string is a string in Go with spaces in between. And the type is string. So let me show you an interesting result in the meantime. So I print, so I have printed the string here. Now let me repeat the print statement and say s add 2 and s add 2 again. If I run this small piece of code, I see that a value of 115 gets printed and the type is uint 18. Now this shows us two things. Uh, the first one being that we can access the characters of a string using this array-like notation. So when I say s of 2, I get the third character of the string s because the indexing within the string starts from 0. So s of 0 would be a, s of 1 would be the space and s of 2 is this character s. Uh, but why are we actually seeing a value of 115 here and a type of u int 18 instead of the character s? So why this happens is that internally in Go, strings are just a collection of bytes and bytes in Go are just an alias of type unsigned int 8. So when we try to extract a single character from a string in Go, we get the byte or the unsigned int representation of that character. Now what if we actually did want the character to be printed out here, well no worries, we can just convert the byte representation into a string representation and um, let me just do that here as well and when I go ahead and run this, we see the value of s and the type of string. Uh, and a very important thing to note here is that although Go will allow you to read characters from a string with this format. It will not allow you to write characters into a string with the same format. So if I say something like s of 1 is equal to u and try to run this, um, it says uh, it cannot assign to s of 1 and it will not work even if I try to assign a byte to s of 1 and it again says cannot assign to s of 1. That is because strings in Go are immutable. Now we just saw an example where we converted a byte into a string. Let us now try to see an example where we convert a string into a collection of bytes. To do that, I am going to declare a variable called d and then I am going to initialize it with a byte slice and I am going to give it the argument of s. When I run this, okay, we did not use b somewhere. So let me go ahead and simply print out b. So we'll use the same print statement that we have been using, which will print both the value as well as the type of b. And when I run this, okay, we see that the variable b is a long collection of numbers or you can say bytes and its type is a collection. So this square bracket means a collection or an array, which we'll further, which we'll see in one of our further videos. So a collection of unsigned int 8 or byte. And what are these values? Well, these values represent the ASCII or the UDF values for each of the characters within this string. So we have A, which, uh, okay, we have 97, which represents an A, 32, which represents a space, then 115, which represents an S and so on. So if you see, um, we have we had a space and 32 here. So similarly, we have a 32 here representing this space and a 32 here as well representing this space. Um, also, you can see that we had a 103 here and a 103 here. So those represent this G as well as this G. Now, where might we need something like this byte slice that we just declared here? Well, uh, a lot of functions in Go uh, don't work with strings but are capable of working with byte slices. So suppose, for example, we want to send a response from our web server to the user. At one time, we want to send a string and at another time, we want to send a file. So both the string as well as the file can be converted to a byte slice and then we will be able to make use of the same function to send that byte slice to 
a particular user. So I hope that the intent is clear. And the last data type that we are going to see is called a rune data type. So what is the difference between a string and a rune? Well, a string contains many characters, whereas a rune will contain only one characters. And where a string can contain only characters which are valid UTF-8, a rune can contain any character which is a valid UTF-32. So suppose I say var s rune is equal to suppose let's say t and I run this. I see that the value of s is 116 and its type is in 32. Again, a little mind boggling, right? We declared s as a rune, but when we type, when we try to print the type of s, we see in 32. Uh, now, why is this happening? Well, this is happening because the rune is just simply an alias for a 32 bit integer. So, for the meantime, I'd simply like to conclude our discussion about string and ruin here itself. All of the code that we just saw had been updated in this GitHub repository AE Dorado slash learning go. So do check it out over here. If you found the video helpful, please do hit the like button. If you find the content of my channel helpful, please click subscribe. You can hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you very soon in a brand new tutorial.